Welcome everyone to the Games Pickup video for June 2023 and the month of June, well I'm going to call it RPG Galore. Because we picked up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games, but the majority of them are RPGs. More specifically, JRPGs. Now, we're going to start with the ones that aren't JRPGs first, so I think if you're a fan of that genre later on in this video, you're going to be very, very surprised what I got because I got some interesting ones and maybe intrigued and maybe you could tell me if you've played these games before so first off the first two games came out today I just got them in the mail um, and the first one is going to be Blossom Tales 2 now I know nothing about this game but the screenshots very much intrigued me because based on how it looks it kind of looks like an old school top-down Zelda game and when I saw that like when done right that style of gameplay is just endless fun. So I'm hoping Blossom Tales 2 is a game that I really enjoyed. Now, the second game that came out today, me being the wrestling fan that I am, is AEW Fight Forever. Now, this game I know has gotten mixed reviews so far, but they say it does take the gameplay style of the old school, like, early 2000s, mid-2000 wrestling games, like No Mercy and Here Comes the Pain. And those, well were some of my favorite games when I was a kid. And I know the graphics aren't super realistic, but I've been looking for that arcade style wrestling game for like a hot minute, just for the pure fun of it all. So I'm going to probably pop this in later, do a couple matches later, and just see how really good it is. Now, before we get into the JRPGs, the last game kind of, in a way, I believe is a hack and slash. I didn't really look up much on this game, but I know one of the creative directors is one of the ones from one of my favorite JRPG series. And it's a Dreamcast game by Atlas, which I didn't think they really made any, um, if not many, Dreamcast games. And it's a game called Mackin X or Mockin X. Now, the art style reminds me of SMT. Um, it looks like it's a hack and slash. I guess I'm going to like it. Uh, you know, I just love that art style. Like, you could tell that character design right there is something, like, straight out of Shimagami Tensai to itself. Um, so it's kind of cool to have this. I never really knew it was a game until, like, two, three weeks ago. And when I saw the art style, I kind of knew I needed it. Now, the most modern JRPG I got this month is Final Fantasy 16. Now, I've been excited for this game since I first saw the initial reveal trailer, what, three-ish years ago now? So, to know this is finally out, and as much as the Final Fantasy games have become more of, like, action RPGs these days instead of turn-based adventures, it just looks so epic. And I'm excited to, to try this. Um, I cannot wait to play this. Now, we're going to go into two PRS2 games. Not PRS2 games. PS2 games now. Uh, sometimes I can't speak properly. You guys have probably noticed that for now. Or, see, like, even that sentence was sentence was wrong sometimes i can't speak properly you guys have probably noticed that by now um so the first one i actually got the other day it's a game from a series i've only played one other game for but i had always seen this one on like top games from the series to play and it's a uh, dragon quest 8 now i got this version that comes with like the uh paper box which also includes like the final fantasy 12 demo which I kind of just wanted this version because it's kind of like the complete edition at this point. Um, I've played Final Fantasy XII on the PS4, the Zodiac Age. But Dragon Quest VIII, I think the only real re-release it ever had, aside from the 3DS version, was on like iOS and Android. And I didn't want to play it that way. So I felt like, even though probably the 3DS version is probably like the, the best version of it, I was going to get the PS2 version because I'm going to want to play it on a big screen and really enjoy the game. I played Dragon Quest XI, loved it. This one just looks super cool. So, as a JRPG fan, I had to have it. Now, earlier I touched on Shin Megami Tensei. And there was a reason I wanted to allude to that. Because for the PlayStation 2 as well, I picked up SMT Devil, Devil Summoner. Now, this is another game that is like a hack and slash game. So, so much for me picking up my turn-based uh, SMT games this month. But Devil Summoner is a game that I heard the combat isn't great, but the story is really what's going to keep you there. And I love the dark weirdness of the SMT stories, let's be honest. 
Um, when I first played an SMT game, I didn't think I was going to like it. And then within like an hour, I knew I loved it. So Devil Summoner, it's getting up there in price. This and Devil Summoner 2 are. So I picked this up for a really good price. Um, I kind of like how it has like the, the holographic or um, what is it called? I don't think it's called holographic. It's a... Uh, I really forgot. So you used to do this on trading cards um, where it's like the shiny type of like background but i'm excited to have this finally in the collection now let's go in to the ps1 games i picked up now i said last month when i picked up magic knight ray earth that was the first working designs game i had ever gotten and lo and behold i got two more this month for the playstation one for a series that i'm gonna group together because i've wanted these two games for like a while they've never really been re-released they were originally sega cd games and, I, again, I got them for such a good price that I really couldn't pack it up or pass it up. And that's Lunar 1 and 2. I've never played a Lunar game, but they've always looked cool from, like, um, videos and, like, images I saw. And I, I, you know, when I first saw the Lunar series, I, I've said I wanted to get these games for about 10 years now. And... To finally be getting a lot of the, the pieces of the collection that I've wanted to get forever um, is cool. So, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to have much of a life going forward, let's be honest, with all these JRPGs I've gotten recently. But having some of these gems in the collection, very proud that uh, I was able to kind of grab these these months. I thought this was going to be like a, a slow month. I think I said that last month. And then uh, now I'm like literally just hitting things out of the ballpark. Now, I expect July to be a slower month, um, because I'm going to Florida, going to be on vacation, trying to just get through some games, but what do you guys think of the eight, nine games I got this month? Um, I'm excited to play all of these. Like I said, Fight Forever is probably going in tonight, just to kind of get a, a feel of like the old school wrestling game vibe. But again, if you've played any of these games, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what you thought of them. As always, guys, until next time. Game on. I'll see you later. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. See ya. Bye.